Well, the first thing I see is uh, a lot of great dogs. But even the greatest dogs, when they're put in that environment, that stressful environment, they can really struggle to come out of their shell. And you know, we really try to help get them out of their shell, but there's only so much we can do. It's very hard to simulate a home environment when the dog's surrounded by 15, 20 other dogs at all times. Yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of long-term dogs stay and not go out, um, which is really unfortunate because even these newer dogs who we thought would go quickly aren't, so they're also joining the long-term list. Um, so we're just seeing a lot of dogs not get adopted um, who have a lot of great qualities about them. So lately, I've been seeing a lot of displaced animals um, and there's a lot of people and animals that are needing help. Um, and I also see a lot of animals being dumped and abandoned due to their cities not having appropriate um, resources and services. Well, I think I feel what the animals feel. And right now, I think the animals are very stressed. And um, that can tend to make some of the animal care workers feel stressed. You know, we look at these dogs as our own. I mean, I love each and every one of these dogs. Yeah, so I've been feeling a lot of anxious energy from the dogs. Um, they're very rowdy, very anxious, just because they're not being able to meet new people besides us canine care and other staff members. Um, just a lot of people aren't wanting to meet the dogs, which means that they aren't getting a lot of socialization, um, which means that they are gonna be more rowdy, energetic, and all over just kind of, they're all over the place. Yeah, so I've been feeling a lot, so much empathy for these animals and people. Um, I wish I could help them all. Um, unfortunately, I can't. Um, and there have been many, many phone calls where someone's trying to surrender their pet and they, I can just tell how hopeless they're feeling and I can definitely uh, empathize for them. I want them to know um, how amazing each and every one of these dogs are and that uh, we do our best day in and day out, but sometimes it's not enough and uh, we do need that help. And we're all struggling, but um, nobody's struggling as much as these dogs. Yeah, so the dogs here at the shelter, when you see them in their kennel, it's not a good judge of who they are because they're stuck in that kennel almost all day, every day. So their energy is just gonna be really wrapped in that kennel. So getting to meet them actually in person and being able to touch them and hang out with them in indoor play by meeting with an adoptions counselor is really gonna be the best way to get to know that animal. I want the public to educate themselves. Getting a pet is a big, big, big commitment. Um, I also want people to spay and neuter their animals and their pets, microchip your pets, um, make TNR, trap neuter release, make that a common practice in the public.